Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing to you another Auto Chess mobile gameplay video where I'm demonstrating to you a pre-recorded game where I was on my Knight 3 account transitioning towards Knight 4 rank using the same strategy that I've been telling you all about in the previous videos which I'm encouraging you to watch in case you haven't seen those already. It is the Cheap Swarm strategy where I'm prioritizing not any synergies, not any particular class or race selections, but instead I am prioritizing the chances of grabbing two pieces, two, two of the same pieces at a time from the shop that comes up between the rounds. So when I can get the two of the same pieces, it basically means that I am rigging the probability of receiving the third piece much sooner. So basically I'm getting a chance of upgrading my chess piece to rank two and further and to rank three much quicker than if I pursued some other strategies or made some other priority calls. So in this particular case, my kind of desire here is to demonstrate to you that this strategy is not just for complete noobs or not only works in complete um, noobish games at the bottom of the barrel basically where people have no skill where they don't know how to spend gold or have absolutely no basic idea of how to defend themselves and progress in auto chess but instead it shows to you something slightly more respectable again i'm not saying that these are some this is meta games this is something highly ranked and i'm not going to rant about it too much but i have to give an introduction to those people who are only just joining us who are not familiar with my strategy or my videos i love this strategy because it's basic but it kind of it puts the mathematical probability to good use and it is a very very strong strategy which this game proves as i started this video by demonstrating to you that i in fact win this game not completely flawlessly maybe not at 100 percent health but close to it I still smashed the others at the rank knight 3 and received knight 4 in the end of this game. So uh, the things to watch out for and what kind of the learning part of this I suppose that I can offer you in this video is the fact that you can clearly see that I'm still prioritizing investment and reinvestment into the chest pieces, uh, chest pieces that are the same chess pieces if two of them appear or even better if three of them appear at the same time i think there was at least one moment in the whole game where that actually also happened to me and but uh, once things get tiny bit more competitive once things get from night three to night four like roughly about right about this time kind of in the game in the game ladder if you like of ranks this is where it becomes a little bit more critical to not just rely on purely the cheap swarm that I've been selling you and kind of advertising to you as a strategy for in my early videos where I was just uh, attempting to help complete beginners to start winning in these auto chess games. But in this particular case, you have to apply a little bit of an extra thinking process to this and make sure that there is some resemblance of functional balance, I would call it. Not the synergy, not the race, not something like that. We're not talking about that yet. But what I'm saying is that functional balance in, balance in terms of what roles are your pieces performing on the battlefield? So this is a new concept to my strategy, but I'm kind of bringing it to you slowly, still presuming that you are not experts. Otherwise, why would you be watching this? This is targeted at the beginners. Uh, in this case, you will see that how pretty early in the game I grabbed a healer. So I need, I know that I need one tank, one dedicated tank. So um, God of War is a perfect tank in this regard to sustain, to withhold a lot of damage coming from the front, yet not doing all that much damage themselves. And I definitely want some, um, want a piece to sustain, to sustain this game rather than just rely on the brute force and the sheer numbers of highly ranked pieces compared, relatively of course, compared to those that my opponents have. So in this case, the healer, the tank, and a whole bunch of DPS are a staple of my game in this particular example. So hopefully you will enjoy this as planned and as announced in the previous videos without having any extra feedback of yours guys to rely on at the moment. I'm going to stick to giving this quick introduction at the beginning of the video to tell you what to look out for and what's the purpose of this strategy and what, uh, you know, uh, what things I'm trying to demonstrate to you. 
And then just watching the rest of the game, watching stuff that I am highlighting to you. There are some cuts in this one because I'm not intending to do this in two parts like I did in previous games. I'm going to put it all into one part. I did start by showing you that I do win in the end. This is where the strategy works. And then I highlight, kind of cut through the lengthy half an hour, about half an hour recording to trim it down to about 15 minutes and show you the main progression parts and the main rounds where certain decisions were made. Please enjoy. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel yet, you do enjoy this uh, sort of streaming-like, I suppose, narrative from a casual player, yet someone who loves auto chess and is passionate about these kind of games. Please do consider liking the video and subscribing right now for more videos, and I'll be bringing more to you very, very shortly.